with another episode of Unlock Your Soul podcast with yours truly Antonio Soul. And today I am so honored to be one of Africa's fastest people. I don't even know how I was able to get him, but let's just say faith got me here because I mean, ah, you guys, his name is Shari. He's all the way from Seashells. At least now I know someone from Seashells. And his second name is Dodo. Shari Dode. Do, eh? Dode. Dode. Yeah. Dode. Okay, you need to put your love your mic, please. Do, Dode. Dode. Yeah. Dode. Okay. So let's start off for anyone who's watching. Who is Shari? Who are you? Yeah. Um. I'm Shari Dode from Seashells. Um. I run for Seashells, and I'm 25 years old. You run 100 meters. Yeah, 102. 100 and. And, and, and 200, yes. okay. So why are you in Kenya? I mean, someone would ask, I mean, don't, don't you want to run in seashells? Like, why are you always running in Kenya? Every time I see you, you're here. Or are you married here? Maybe you have a secret family. Why are you always in Kenya? Well, um, before I was uh, training in London. Yeah. And then I stopped. So in seashells, there's uh, no like good facilities for training and stuff. Yeah. And I got the opportunity to train here with uh, Team Freddy. Yeah. So this is why I'm here to get ready for my season, like get ready for the games, upcoming yeah. games. Yeah. yeah. I mean, tell us what goes on when you're like preparing for a race. I mean, a lot of people see because 100 meters, is, I mean, it's 10 seconds and under, you know, it, it takes it's such a short period. But every time I check your Instagram, you're like, your training your it's like even today before you came here you went for training then you went for you know checkups and all that stuff what do you do when you're preparing for a race what happens well um before you get to like train um, to the competition you know, yeah like yeah train hard get the muscle ready and get ready like it's not just about the the body to get ready it's about yeah. the mind too you can be strong and fast and anything but if the man is weak so yeah, you'll always lose. So you have to be like mentally stable as well. Is it better to not be in a relationship when you're a runner, an athlete? Um, because nah, then no drama, you know, no no texts and. No, nah, it's not like that. Yeah, it's uh, it depends on you, like on yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So are you taken? Nah. <laughs> so you're saying not, but you're not taken. So you actually are running away from drama as you run 100 meters. Nah, I'm not running away. I'm just like, uh, when the right times come, it will come. I'm not forcing anything. So, yeah. But I'm sure your DM is filled with Kenyan chicks. Um, I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I know that girl from Seashells, if she hears this, there'll be more drama. Tell us how it is working with, you know, Kenyan athletes, you know, uh, working with Team Fadi, you know, just being in that, you know, community of of athletes. What does it, what does it mean for you as an athlete to be around other people like yourself? Well, um, being around these guys, yeah, um, they are really like nice people. Yeah. And very motivation, like. Yeah. They are. They really want something, yeah. So yeah. One day they come to training, they give their their all. Yeah. And if you're doing something wrong, yeah, they talk to you. Yeah. Like, not like other athletes. Some of the athletes, like, uh, they will like be hating or they yeah. do this and that. Yeah. But them. They want to see you win. Yeah. It's like they want to win. So yeah. yeah, that's the good thing, like here in Kenya. Yeah. So no one hating on each other. Exactly. Everyone is like friendly, talking nice to each other. So yeah. That's the spirit when you're training in a team, yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that you have a community of your friends and your brothers that you get to hang out with. What do you do when you're in Nairobi, when you're not training? You know, you're uh, you know, you probably need to chill out and have a good time. Where do you go? What do you do? Uh, I'll be um, when I don't have training, yeah, the first thing I'll be resting, bro. <laughs> yeah, in the house. Yeah, I'll be sleeping, yeah. watching Netflix or yeah. documentaries, or doing like stuff like maybe go to like jacuzzi yeah. to recover. Yeah. yeah, that is so bougie. It's not bougie, like who, just who, how many of you when you're resting do you go to the jacuzzi? <laughs> Let me just go to the jacuzzi. I'm resting. <laughs> <laughs> you're so bougie. Nah. Or it's normal. It's normal. Yeah, it's part of the recovery. It, okay, but this also, I mean, also comes into play that a lot of people think that athletes are super mega rich. Is that the truth, or is it a thing that happens with time? 
like athletes that yeah. are super rich. Like, yeah. How? You know what I mean by rich, like in Africa. I mean, like you know, you know, like like you have a Bentley, like you have your own house. You know, you can travel to wherever you wanna go. You can buy whatever phone you wanna buy. Well, it depends on where you are, like where which level you're on and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's, there's a level to it. Like so d- everything in life, you know, there's a level to it. Do you consider yourself? Rich or wealthy? Nah, I don't consider myself like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you being serious, serious, or you're like I'm not where I wanna be? No, I'm not. I'm not where I wanna be right now, but I'm walking towards it. Yeah. 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 In when when we go back home to Seychelles, do you feel like you're appreciated at home? I mean, I've seen you uh, do the Commonwealth Games. You know, you play for your country. Do you feel you could tell us? I've never been to Seychelles. I don't know what they say about you. Do you feel like people show you the love that you deserve in seashells? Like people? Yeah. Like uh, you're talking about which people? Like the people, the Seychellois. You know, just the country, the nation. When you go on social media, mm-hmm. do they show you the love that you feel like you deserve as as an athlete who competes for that nation? Oh, um, especially us that we like my federation. Yeah. Yeah, they treat me good. Yeah. Um, I can't complain to say like, I don't get this, I don't get that. So yeah. they are like, behind me to get where I want to to get yeah so about people there's be, there will be people that show you love yeah there will be people that will show you hate but for me I'm always like positive like if you're gonna not gonna show love that's fine you see um but me I'm always like showing love even to people I know that don't like yeah. me and yeah so that's, yeah I will show love to anyone yeah I mean even you coming here to this interview I mean it shows how kind you are because yeah. a lot of people would make it like such a task like send me an email send my management an email why should i come to the interview yeah. what's it all about but it also speaks to i don't know if all sishalwas are like that or yourself what is the one lesson someone should learn about someone like you leaving your country and coming to run in kenya to train to work hard what lesson should anybody who wants to be like you learn from that sacrifice well um uh, i would say like if you want something especially like you really want something in life and you're walking towards something you should like yeah put everything you have to sacrifice first yeah, yeah it comes with uh, a lot of sacrifice yeah you have to stop doing like a lot of things that yeah. you're used to yeah and just be humble yeah and always be nice to people yeah and this is like how you'll get far in life is english your second language or your first language um uh, second so it's also you had to learn english along the way or you studied in school studied in school okay so that, yeah. i mean the reason i'm asking is because for be anyone to learn a second language like it i mean it also shows how much dedication you have to the craft yeah. if you are not an athlete and you are any other sportsman which sport would it be and why um uh, i would say nfl nfl yeah yeah <laughs> Not not football, football, football. Not their American football. Not football. Yeah, the American football, like NFL. And not what they call soccer, like like Engl- English Premier League or whatever. Nah, not that. Ah. But I've I've uh, played like back then. Yeah. Oh, I play almost like every sport. Yeah. I just like uh, the American football as well. So. Yeah. Okay, I mean because I mean Kenyans, you know, wouldn't. I mean, a lot of people wouldn't honestly care about NFL. Yeah. So tell me about the English Premier League or the La Liga. You know, any favorite team that you have? Uh, Man U. Man yeah, <laughs> I was so worried. <laughs> if you're gonna say Arsenal, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, the interview is over, guys. I do not want to interview those people on top of the table because they're always talking nonsense and tell us about your family you know how many people how many siblings you are in your family if you know how proud your parents are of you and doing everything that you do do you are you constantly in communication with them when you win you know when you lose are they there for you how's how's that family relationship like well um uh, to get to that point when when i was still in school yeah yeah so everything i have to do like uh on me like my mom yeah i'm only um i live only with my mom so okay she was there for me yeah and still are yeah and my dad also but not uh that really yeah but he check up them sometimes to yeah. see how it is going and stuff like that yeah um yeah but back home they my family showed me love 
and even I'm away. Yeah. They still show me love every time. Yeah. Keep going because they know how it is like to be alone somewhere chasing a dream. Yeah. And it's not that easy. Yeah. To wake up to repeat the same thing every day. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, I, 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 let's get into a little bit personal because you mentioned something that, you know, sort of struck me when you talk about fatherhood and we just celebrated uh, Father's Day. Yeah. I mean, men always have a very difficult relationship with their fathers. Even when they're around or even when they're not with our moms and they are, you know, sort of raising you from afar. What is your greatest, les- lesson, greatest lesson on fatherhood in the sense that if you become a dad, yeah. there's certain things you have to do for your sons or for your daughters. What are some of those things you've learned you wish you were able to experience, but you know you have to fulfill? Well, as for me, if I become a dad, yeah. I will never like, uh, I always say like, if I, even now, if I like get a child on my own, yeah. like, I will never, you know, something that I really want right now, but if it happened like, I will never leave his or her side. Like, yeah. I make sure like they are in good places and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. What, what would it take for you and your dad to have like a really close relationship? Um, like, let's say he was to call you and say, I want to sit down with you. Mm-hmm. What would you want to hear him say for you to say, yeah, let's try and walk this journey together what would you want him to say if he called you or if he sat you down and said i'm coming to kenya i wanna you know hang out with you mm-hmm. what would you want him to say well nothing like because he he talked to me like he doesn't he wasn't living with me when i was like younger he yeah lived, like uh because she broke up with my mom and stuff like that yeah he always keeping communication and stuff like yeah I'm still cool yeah He's just like i'm not the I didn't grow up with him. Yeah. But I always see him and like we talk like how can I say this? Like we live together and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not really like that. So it's not always. Yeah. So I mean then also I think we can also honor your mom a little bit. Yeah. Tell us about you know your mom raising you, having to see her making sacrifices when you're on the race track and you're running and I'm like, you know, I have to whether you win or not. Yeah. You're like you're thinking about mom. What does your mom mean to you as as you know, Shari the athlete? Yeah, my mom is the person that even like I was younger, yeah. she always makes sure like if I want something, I always wanted like my stuff, um, like clothes, shoes and stuff like, yeah. like stuff. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she makes sure like she will give it to me. Yeah. Yeah. So when I start running, she was there to keep me going yeah. until now. Yeah. So I really appreciate that. Like I love her. So. Yeah. Yeah. So tell her, tell her like in the camera that mommy, I love you. Yeah, I love you, mom. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to like keep eye contact. <laughs> Not three seconds of I love, I love you, mom. Yeah, I love you, mom. Okay, that's that's a nice the silence for mommy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're all like mommy's boys over here. How are Seychelles in general? Like, tell us about the speech of Seychelles and how you guys are. If I was to go to Seychelles today, what should I expect? The people, the vibe, the energy for anyone who's never been there. How how does it feel to be in Seychelles? Like, if I land there today, what's going to happen? Well, if you land in Seychelles, yeah. it depends on which kind of person you are. Like, if you will, like, island stuff, like, you go to the beach, yeah. eat fish, like, have a good time, go to yeah. the rivers, yeah. hike or something. Yeah. Yeah, it all depends, like. But in Seychelles, it's always good vibes. Yeah. 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 So, um, what should I do or where should I go when I get to Seychelles? What, what are some of the places you feel I should go and I'm going to enjoy myself and have a good time? Um, I would say like uh, night day, night time? Or? Uh, well, both. Both day and night. Well, I would say like, like... Tell me, go to this restaurant. Yeah. Do this hike. That's what I want to know. Okay, so... To the restaurant, you can go to like... Eden. There's a, a restaurant called Bravo. Mm-hmm. Like, uh-huh. It's nice there. Yeah. And you can have like good views yeah of the ocean like boats and stuff like that yeah and to be fair on the beach yeah you could go to like to Beauvalon and there's a lot it's surrounded by the beach so okay you have to choose on your own where you're comfortable of going and stuff yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm I'm waiting for all the comments from the Seychelles who say he did not mention this bit why no, that's, that's what's gonna much. happen yeah they'll be like much. no it's <laughs> like so basically saying Kenyans should go to Seychelles right mm-hmm. yeah I think I think it should be on my on my bucket list. I should yeah. think about it in that. Let's, as we get ready to conclude, let's talk about the future. What you see the future of Africa is. The fact that you are, you know, 
congregating with you know your community of african athletes and you've traveled a lot i mean you've played i mean you've run anywhere you can think of i've seen you in paris in london what do you think the future of africa as an athlete and when you meet africans what how does it look like for you or how would you want it to look like for you well um no idea what, what? for example i'll say like in africa i wish there were no like coming to seychelles or going to nigeria i wish there were no visas mm. like i didn't have to oh. or, or even how expensive it is to fly in africa like if i go to seychelles maybe i'll probably pay more uh-huh. than i'll pay to go to paris yeah but the problem is yeah um for example like um you guys i think that have like the visa really the visa yeah. problem because yeah. us in seychelles we don't really get those visa program because like we are french and english yeah so everywhere we go it might get like three months stay or six months stay it yeah. all depends like you see no need for visa you see you're basically yeah. saying the british need, yeah, <laughs> the british need, the british are weak yeah, the british is visa. um what is it called their inhabitants <laughs> are weak and the french <laughs> are winning the immigration <laughs> <laughs> French are winning the immigration war. Okay, do you know any female African artists? Female, no. Yeah. African artists. Yeah, African, yeah, like Tiwa yeah, Savage. Yeah, yeah. I know them, but I don't really really know. No, them. I'm asking you because I'm going to we're going to play a game called Marry or Pass. So, not really, not really, not really. No, I know who I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask someone that you came with to give me three names of well-known female Seychelles Seychellois artists. Seychellois. Uh. And then stop looking at him why you stop threatening the guy why are you giving that african look of dare, dare you he will tell us or else we'll we'll just imprison him here yeah, i think he will know better than me. so when he tells me the names you will tell me if marry or pass okay if marry or pass you feel if you would marry them or you like no 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 thank oh. you All right, but before on. we go there i want you to look back in your life and look at your 16 year old self living with your mom your mom is making all sacrifices for you doing all the things you have to do what would you tell your 16 year old self mm-hmm. that either you wish somebody told you about or you wish you had more often or based on the experience you have now you tell your 16 year old self by the way shari this is what life is going to be do this and do this mm. what would you tell yourself well i wouldn't really like uh have to tell myself anything because like uh, the things happen for the, in the past is it happened for a reason you mm-hmm. know like uh, you learn for everything i think yeah. it's a good thing yeah that everything that happens so yeah. today you know where you are and what you will do you yeah. won't be doing the same thing every day yeah the yeah. same mistake or yeah. anything yeah. so yeah that's so uh, live in the moment yeah nothing to regret about yeah, i don't have anything to regret in in my life i can say okay yeah. okay i like that um for any younger athletes who are watching you who are in the seashell in seashells or in africa who wants to be like you who who wants to you know just they look at your lifestyle and they say i want to be like shari what's the one piece of advice you can tell them they probably well, think you enter the jacuzzi and live with an eight pack <laughs> so maybe they're like oh that's how he gets the eight pack yeah So I will tell them like uh, like I said before if you if you're willing to chase your dream or do something in life like you want to achieve so you have to you have to work hard and the first thing is like discipline yeah. and the uh, sacrifice yeah yeah that's I, the, I love that okay so it's time for us to play marry or pass are you ready to play marry or yeah, pass yeah, go on okay so your friend what's the name of your friend Janos Ch- Janos yeah Chanosh <laughs> please move move like this I want to see him so give me three names of uh, don't look at him you you, you can't look at no, him I can't, uh, it's a very african thing you you you're threatening the guy so i need you to, why don't look at this guy don't look at me give me th- first name of a very beautiful sichelwa artist <laughs> they're all beautiful okay give me give me three number one. <laughs> what did he say? I I feel like he's, no, I feel like he's asking you if you should say give me one female artist name. No, but I don't know the deal. Eh, pass here. Pokole. You don't know. Pokole. You just said in English as you can't see, you don't know. He said the no, the, the he just, female no, artist. I feel like you told him, "Dare you?" No, because mostly 
like me myself yeah. I wouldn't really like a lot of female um you, you don't listen to sensation. you don't listen to uh, music I listen to, to okay which music. music do you listen to everything everything but social music yeah i do listen to social music not like the, not the female do you know she was oh my god you the, this guy has a family in seashells to all the kenyan girls who have been hanging out with shari be warned because clearly there's a wife and children he's hiding in seashells because he's very <laughs> afraid of talking about these girls okay so i'll ask do you know tiwa savage yeah, yeah, yeah no, would no, you no. marry or it's like a pass nah pass huh I'm so are you for real? Yeah. I don't I don't really ah, no no I girl. I won't even continue. I'll just end the Show me. Show I'll, me the girl. I don't know the girl. Oh, I think this one yeah, I think this what's going to do. I know the song. You ask me if I know her. Yeah, yeah let me let me, You don't have to know her. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You don't have like to her. know know her. I mean, you know how you can see someone How can you, you marry someone with the you know you know the music, you don't know her. It doesn't matter if you see <laughs> You see somebody you love Okay, let me You know what you want me to ask you you know I was trying to be nice by saying marry or pass. Uh-huh. So let me just ask you the easily smash or pass. You know what smash means? Let's see, let's see. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, smash you know what it means. Let me see a provocative. <laughs> This is Tiwa Savage. Oh. Smash or pass? Uh <laughs> Okay, smash, smash. Okay. Yeah. Let me look for someone else. She's called Nini Ola. Let me get you Nini Ola. And these are my friends, by the way. So you have to say nice things about them. <laughs> This is Niniola, smash or pass? Nah, I'll pass that one. Why? Um, I don't know, but I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask someone. She's called Toke Makinwa. She's. Let me not talk about it. She's called Toke. She's. Ay, she's. Ay, my goodness. This is Toke Makinwa. Yeah. Smash, 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 and then last but not least, um, let me get for you. This is Zuchu, all the way in Tanzania. You know Diamond, the singer, the, the singer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 she's rumored to be Diamond's girlfriend, but it, I don't think it's true. So your answer, you be very careful. You might not go to Tanzania. <laughs> This is Zuchu, smash or pass? You want to see more photos? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm showing the wrong angle. <laughs> oh, this one, smash or pass? Ah, pass, pass, pass. <laughs> Maybe because I say Tanzania, yeah, he's, now you can go to Tanzania. Thank you so much, Shari, yeah. for making time for us. Thank you for, you know, just coming through. And why is your friend here? What's his name again? Janos. Is he also an athlete? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what does he do? Is, does he run or? Yeah, 100. Okay, please, please, please come and join us here. Yeah, don't say you don't know English because now, but you're saying in English, I don't know English. <laughs> No, just come and join us here and then I am going to ask you guys something about the two of you. So just sit here. Sit next to me. What is the one thing about him that annoys you the most? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. No, this guy is kind. Man. He's kind. Yeah. What is the one thing about him that annoys you? Ah, uh, nothing. Nothing. You guys, always cool. these guys are just too nice. You're too nice. That is a lie. I can just. No, sense. it's true. Like there's nothing. Yeah, if you be like someone else, yeah, that annoy me. Yeah, I will tell you the truth. I'm always yeah. like telling people the truth. So okay. There's nothing. Okay. What is the one thing about him that you like? Yeah, always encouraging you, man. Always encouraging. Yeah. Okay. With money or with what? Eh. No, <laughs> like not no money or anything like. No money. No money. Just no. words. Just words. Yeah. Yeah. Go do this. You will achieve it. Stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I I think you need to start encouraging more with money. Is it? That that is yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. There's so many words. Forget. <laughs> There's so many words you can say. Anyway, this is Antonio Soul Unlock Your Soul podcast. I've been with Shari all the way from Seychelles. Thank you for making time for us. And yeah, how do you say you how do you say goodbye and thank you in, in au French? Au revoir. Au revoir. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. That's what's up. Oh.